Yo, yo, good morning, coming at you. Uh, this is Roman Curtis coming at you at 8.58. And only getting out of bed for a few minutes. I got some things, well, now more than a couple hours. Some things to take care of. And I got to get myself back in the bed. Stay in the bed like the doctors want me to. I'm hard-headed, y'all. Just, I'm hard-headed. So I'm out the bed, you know. Probably get some breakfast. Got to go down and see apartment managers about what's going on with me. And whoever's coming to visit me and whoever's dropping packages off on uh, emails to take care of, whatever. It's just, you know. But I'm only going to be out this bed no longer than 10 o'clock, and I'm going back to bed. And maybe I'll get out later on and jump on somebody's show or whatever. If not, I'm going to stay in the bed. I'm a little tired. My sleep schedule is off. You know, and I take these painkillers. I take the, only take the Viking and not the Viking and the Oxy during the day. Like, you know, when I'm up and I really, you know, I'm in the chair and I have to move around and do things and take the oxy during the day. It's probably really laughing because I'm high during the day. I got my own pain meds that I take during the night. I don't even take that oxy to sleep. I got my own pain meds, my regular pain meds that I take, you know, and stuff. So, either or appreciate those that's, that's going to be watching this video. Um, I showed off, I'm going to show off the stuff for my 300 giveaway which is happening this sunday i'm trying to go live at 6 p.m and i'll show the books you know one of the books that's up I'm trying to give a nine eight away all the way up to a thousand and we'll just blow it up then who knows who knows could be a thousand if i got them and got good ones that's that's worth giving out you know at least give you a nice nine eight not just any nine eight yeah, you know, nice nine eight something that means most of it's Batman related that's what I found but we'll see so let me get this haul video going here it's gonna be a little bit of a long I just want to go through this right here Thor God of Thunder I got this from Justin he sold the whole set we all know the two books that's in here but really I go through it. I went through it before when I was looking up some stuff. And it's a lot of keys in here. A lot of keys. A lot of ways Marvel can use people in here. A lot of ways we wait to see if Marvel will use people in here. So this is jam-packed with speculations. 16 of the 25 issues has a key moment or a key or a first appearance or a key moment. Or, or a cameo or something. You know. 16 of the 25 issues. 10 of it was it now 10 has first appearance yeah yeah 10 16 or 25 issues as, as a key moment or first appearance and uh like 10 or 11 of them have a, a variance that go with the book have, have matching variants that go with the book so let's try to get through this as fast as possible like i had i had to write it down y'all can just to help me have some kind of what's going on with each one so issue number one issue number one it's the first appearance of the old King Thor. Now, I'm going to butcher this other thing that's going on right here. Uh, Jaborin, first appearance of Jaborin, the Darwin Axe. So it's probably old King Thor is running with the axe. And that's probably first appearance of the axe and King, old King Thor. Self explanatory here. First appearance of Gore. And first appearance of the Necro Sword, which was considered the first symbiote created by No. Or the God Butcher. That's, you know, everybody wants that book. We don't know if uh, Christian Bale is going to play that part yet. Next up is number three. And number three, this is funny. Gore speaks from, we always laughing about, you know, uh, Wolverine in 180. He's in a panel. And he's coming up. And, you know, you see characters, but they're not speaking. Well, Gore in this issue speaks from the shadows. Some people consider it the second camp, the second appearance, even though he's not, you know, seen. He's speaking. He's in a panel speaking from the shadows. That's a new one. Second appearance or not? They don't consider it anything. They don't consider it second appearance or anything. So that's what's in. That's what's going on with three. Big discussion. Four is the official second appearance of Gore. Five is 
to the origin of gore. Six, of course, is the big deal. You got the origin of gore and the first cameo of Noel. Now, Noel's fighting the character in the golden armor. I'm going to try to get through this book and see what's going on. And they don't uh, identify the character that's in the golden armor. And we know Gord, uh, Noel doesn't like light. So we try, we try, to, try to identify, or I like we like to say, spec on who is this person in this golden armor that Gore's going up against. I mean, uh, that Noel's going up against. Uh... Seven, seven is a filler. God bomb part one. Seven is a filler. I'm just gonna call the ones that I don't have information on as filler. <laughs> eight. Eight is the first. Here's here's the key. When the eight is for the future, future, deep, <laughs> deep. The first appearances of the goddesses of thunder. I don't have. I didn't write their names down. But they're, uh, th they're Thor's future goddaughters. I mean, granddaughters. Thor's future granddaughters. The goddesses of thunder. First appearance in here. That's a deep. <laughs> that's a deep key moment. What we have here. Nine. I'm just going to show you. Filler. <laughs> if you don't have nothing going on. If I don't have nothing listed, it's a filler. Uh, Ten. Filler. 11, okay, 11, Thor absorbs the living darkness of the Necrosaur. So, in essence, he becomes the first host of a symbiote. You me, what? Key moment to me. Key moment to me. 12. First appearance of Rod Solomon. I've heard his name a few times. They can use this person as the next uh, agent closer to me because he is an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Rod Solomon is an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Rod Solomon probably should be specting movies that's trying to put S.H.I.E.L.D. back together. That's what I would think they would do. This name is, I've heard this name many a time, and it's a key person, and I don't know what they might do. It's a character they can pull up and use it like a Coulson and, and uh, like try to put S.H.I.E.L.D. back together. But at this time, they're agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., and this is before all the... Hydra took over shield and shield, shield not anymore. Uh, 13. Oh, I'm going to butcher this. I'm going to butcher this, y'all. First appearance of Lady Wazuria. It ends up becoming the second curse. So this is the first appearance of Lady Wazuria. Kill it. Who ends up becoming the second curse? I think this stuff, you know, you never know what they can do with this stuff. Do your own speculations and come up with some here. 14, I mean, every, uh, is the first team appearance of the League of Realms. First team appearance of the League of Realms. I didn't write their names down, but there we go. Now we gotta just show, do some cover shooting. 15 is the filler. 16, filler, 17, filler, 18, I'm like, look at this, what the, what the hell, is he about to fight, 18 is a filler, but what the hell is he about to fight, <laughs> okay, 19, here's another one, see, Right here, 19. What do we have in 19? The first appearance is Dario Agger, the shape shifting CEO of Roxen, who we know Roxen is affiliated with Mr. Sinister. And when he's, he's the chef, so they call him Dario Agger, the shape shifting CEO of Roxen when he's in human form. So when he's using his powers, was he, is he a mutant or was he made something? He made out of something. You know, never know what Dr. Sin, Mr. Sinister is doing over there. And the first cameo appearance of Old Galactus. So Dario Agger is another person we don't know. We we think he may be playing that. I mean, we think Christian Bale may be playing Dario Agger. So he's either playing Dario Agger or Gordon Garbage. I'm rooting for Gordon Garbage.
All right. 20. First full appearance of Old Galactus. First full appearance of Dario Agar as the Minotaur. So first full appearance of Old Galactus. First full appearance of Dario Agar as the as the Minotaur. This is why I bought the whole set since he was selling the whole set. So I knew it was all the stuff in there. You never know down the road what they're going to use. Uh, 21, we're just going to call it a filler. 22 is a cool cover, but it's a filler. 23, here's another one. It's interesting to me. First appearance of King Thor, all black, all father, god of the butchers, a.k.a. Necrothor. We don't know how when, how, when Chris Hemsley's going to leave and how he's going to leave and what kind of Thor he's going to be when he leaves. Uh, coming to the end, only two issues left, y'all. 24, Galactus becomes Black Galactus, Butcher of, of Worlds, after he uh, merges with the Necrosword. So he becomes the second host for the Necrosword, basically to me. It, you know, I didn't read these this run. That's very, but I knew it was a bunch of keys, so um, that's very interesting to me. Did Galactus just want to merge as powerful as he is? Or did he, was he forced to merge? Did somebody just take over Galactus like that? We don't know, but Galactus becomes Black Galactus, Butcher of Worlds. This is a variant. This is not the original cover this is a variant for 25 and second cameo of Jane Foster's Thor issue 25 Whew. and we're done with that now let's just do the regular all right <laughs> all right first up I'm getting my new 52 number ones on so here is the third print of Batman new 52 uh, this was an interesting book. I had to have it because it was in beautiful condition. It was at a good price and in beautiful condition. Hulk, 172. Hulk and Juggernaut teaming up. What the? What the? Hulk and Juggernaut. What the? <laughs> Put these two together. I showed one before in the other uh, video, but it's Superman, Man of Steel, when Worlds Collide. A milestone when I think the introduction of milestone and I buy the DC logo of these books you see the milestone up there in the corner when worlds collide with a book that's 28 and here is 29 also I bought a DC logo of that since they train and you see who's on the you see icon is on the cover and you see hardware and you see static on the cover too so you see, them, those were the big three. From Miles, the Miles, those from Icon, you see Static, and you see Hardware. You better get on those guys. I always buy these. This is my like, super down the road spec. Shy Butler becomes the fourth, the fourth Patriot. When they did a cartoon of uh, Secret Warriors, or whatever it was on DX, and they had the young group together, they used Rashad Butler. So eventually, you know, we know Bradley is the first, is the third Patriot. Um, Isaiah Bradley's uh, grandson is the third Patriot, leads the Young Avengers, but he eventually he quits. And you got, uh, and you got, I don't know, Rashad Bradley, Rashad Butler taking over. Rashad Butler's first appearance is in 18, his first cameos in Sam Wilson's, let me put, pick the book up. First cameos in Sam Wilson's Captain America, eight issue 18. First full appearance of Rashad Butler is in uh, Sam Wilson's Captain America, issue 19. This is Sam, this is uh, this, uh, Rashad Butler's first full appearance as the first, as uh, the fourth page, the fourth Patriot. All right, next up, Ooh, that was rough. Oh, this is no big deal. This was, this is a cover grab, uh, Bruce Lee homage to enter the dragon is Grayson number eight. I'll just grab that. All right, next up, next up, next up, next up. I sold this and I had to pick up me another set and I'm gonna try to upgrade the set somewhat. 
And I had to pick up me another set. So, Lady Bullseye. And this is the Cherry Dotson variant. I'm going to try to get this two more. I'm going to try to get the regular, the A cover. This is another variant for number one. It's kind of expensive. I can't think of the artist that does it. But this is Terry Dotson that can be expensive. Uh, Lady Bullseye. So that was issue 111. Issue 112. I have, you know, issue 113. Got to hold on to the Lady Bullseye. It's a long term spec, but you got to hold on to Lady Bullseye. Issue 114. Issue. 115, and when you think about it, one of the hottest books this week, even though no, 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 the King is um, Black it came out this week with Daredevil number 25. Watch out, get your electric stuff together. Watch out. I ran across one of these, I needed some, so I needed one, so pretty good deal. So let's roll this one out. Iron Fist 14, it's like a fine copy. Maybe press it might it might squeak to a seven. To me, I haven't opened it up. I haven't put it out the plastic or anything yet. Let's check it back out. Back is clean. See some pressable defects on the back. I see the back is clean. You see pressable defects on the back. Maybe you get a seven five out of it. Maybe you get a seven five. Just look the old up here. In this corner around that corner up there, this looks old. Maybe seven five, maybe eight. It doesn't have any color breaking ticks along the spine, really. I like to keep these, you know, I want to get a few of these raw. I like to keep these raw. Alright, next up. I had sold the set before, and now I'm trying to replenish the whole set and have a couple extras. And have a couple of extra. So what we got here is the Tron some Tron variants. So first up, Thor seven sixty uh six uh six seventeen six seventeen, and it's the first appearance of Kid, Kid Loki. So just because it's Tron variant, sometimes these a few of these are key. So first appearance of Kid Loki. Avengers number seven. We don't know when she's coming, but it's got to have you a Spider Woman. Uh, Wolverine number four. I don't even know what series this goes with. Incredible Hulk eight six eighteen. This one was hot and hard to get for a while. Uh, if you can catch this book under fifty, grab it quickly. This next one, because so basically it's an eighty dollar book. Basically, it's an $80 book right now. Everybody's charging, overcharging for this book, so I think. I got another one coming, but it is Secret Avengers, number seven. This book is, is $80 to $100 right now. Get you one cheaper if you can, if you want it, if you, if you want the book. Avengers Academy, number seven. You know, Quicksilver. And another key that's overlooked. I'm going to try to grab a few of these. Grab this book. It's a $20 book, basically, now. Anywhere from $15 to $20. Bucks. If you catch it under $20, bucks, grab it. New Avengers number seven. The reason I say it looked over, first appearance of the Illuminati. So one in 15, the first appearance of the Illuminati. Can't beat that. Uh, yeah, I know I'm trying to collect, collect X-Men from 94 all the way to at least 143. Claremont Burn, 